is up my ASMR and fragrance family. It is your boy, your whispering perfume pimp, Christopher Cologne, and I am back with my first video of 2024. So, um, so yeah, so first off, y'all, I appreciate all the well wishes and everything like that. And all that that y'all gave me for having the surgery and it's crazy cause it's crazy cause it's like I feel my gallbladder more now and I don't even have it than what I did but that's probably just because I'm only like six and a half days post-op so but yeah I'm hurting right here, uh, hurting right there, so, and it helps if I lean on my side, but yeah, I'm hurting right there and up in my shoulder, which is weird because I didn't hardly ever hurt at all right here before I had it taken out, now it kind of hurt in the back where it feel like a pulled muscle or whatever, but yeah, so, but anxiety I had over getting the surgery which I almost said screw it and canceled it because I was terrified about getting a, uh, was terrified about getting an organ cut out of me so yeah I'm sorry y'all uh, January 2nd I was gonna start putting more videos out but when I made the, uh, the community post, I forgot that I wasn't thinking when I made the community post that my son's birthday was the next day. So, I wasn't going to be able, I mean, not that I wasn't going to be able to, but yeah, that I, it wasn't going to work like I wanted it to, like that day needed to. So, it is like. 1.30 in the morning on January 3rd so I figured I'd do this video and go ahead and release it and then I'm going to do a couple more videos a few more videos for this week and uh, all that so um, but on um, this one did I say oh yeah and just again I appreciate the well wishes y'all because I had friends that didn't even say anything so that, that means a lot to me uh, but so this video is um, a whisper ramble of new year, new me bullshit. So y'all know how it goes. Um, but these aren't necessarily resolutions or whatever. I'm just kind of doing this is stuff I've had planned. I'm just kind of doing this for this video just because, you know, video. So, <laughs> uh, uh, so. My goals for 2024, my new year, new me bullshit, is the first one. Oh, man, I tell you what, yawning and sneezing and stuff, that hurts. I had a friend, four days after he had emergency call bladder surgery, he was working on cars and everything. I don't see how he did it, but, uh. one of them is to find a better job or to uh or to find a better job and or because if i can get away from working for working a regular job i'd love that but find a better job and or finish getting my own business together and growing this channel like okay on and when it comes to growing when it comes to a channel now this is what's weird from everything i read and studied it takes on average a year to hit a thousand subscribers for for a youtube channel so i did that i did that two days shy of a full year now it's been six months now a few well a couple weeks past six months since i started this channel so it's been a year and six and a half months. Now, in the first year, I got a thousand subscribers. 
since then in the la in the six and a half months since then I have only got 273 new uh, new subs that I don't understand why as soon as it, and it was pretty much as soon as I monetized pretty damn close to it everything went downhill numbers went downhill everything so but my goal this year is to grow this channel to 10,000 subs to grow this channel to 10,000 subs and to grow my other channel my regular Christopher Cologne channel to and get that monetized at the at the very least get that monetized and to get the whole Christopher Cologne brand going and stuff so that's what I want out of this out of the whole Christopher Cologne thing and uh but I would like to get if I can't if I don't find a different job because it's not the job that I don't like it's I don't really care for third shift anymore it just kind of fits my life and I don't really like the company I work for so um yeah I would rather do like headlight restoration and stuff like that and you know fixing paint uh fixing like different blemishes and uh do paint correction and stuff like that you know like i like buffing cars i don't like washing them even though even though i'm a badass when it comes to polishing out a car and everything you gotta wash it and all this this and that now i don't like doing all that just give me a buffer and the compounds and the and the sandpaper and all that stuff. Just give me that. But yeah, so I figured I'd do that and like minor detailing and stuff like that. I would mind doing that. But yeah, that's like my goal for one of my goals for 2024. And then another one is spin and this kind of goes against that because to do that takes a lot of time you know to 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 make your goals happen it takes a lot of time but what i want to do also is spend more time doing what i like and love with my friends and family because you know i grind a lot and a lot of times it does make me miserable so because I get to missing life and everything and I have between depression and working so much and everything like that I have introverted myself a lot I know how to interact with people I still interact with people good but I don't know it just doesn't feel the same anymore so it's a weird thing I mean we'll probably do a video on that and everything but yeah I want to spend more time you know with my kids and uh like i've missed out a lot of time with my kids between them moving in with their mom and uh me working a lot and everything and then just growing up you know like my daughter she's getting ready to be 19. she's getting ready to have her own kid um but yeah and then my, my old son he's turning 16. my son my youngest son Caden, he just turned uh he just turned 13 yesterday so but yeah between them living up there with their mom and them just growing up doing their own thing and me working a lot and just you know other things i ain't gonna really talk about uh, uh i've missed out a lot of time with them and that shit it sucks so i would like to spend more time with them you know more time doing what i like to do and and love to do and just and just enjoy life a little bit more you know i think a lot of us don't enjoy life enough like a lot of us are stuck in the rat race and we're just we're, we're spinning our wheels we're trying and trying and trying and things just things just ain't things just don't go right you know and on top of going right we struggle with perception you know on, on, on our outlook of things and peace of mind and 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 just and just a number of things really 
So, uh, yeah, I would like to get back to doing things I like to do. So, instead of just working and like I love, I love making the videos. So, and I like, and I love interacting with y'all. But y'all know, it's just I would like to do more. You know, I would like, I would like to live my life, and I would like my life to have some kind of meaning to it. Cause I just, I don't feel like it does anymore. I mean, sounds bad, but yeah, I just. I don't know, and I've always struggled. I've always struggled with feeling like I belong. And I've just, I've gotten to where, like it used to be, I didn't feel like I belonged around people and this and that. And now, now I struggle with just feeling like I don't belong in life. So, and I'm sure some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, I would like to, I would like to get rid of that feeling. And I think if I can get back to doing things that I like to do and spending time with people and this and that, uh, I think that'll help. So, okay, and another one is what a lot of people want is eat better. So, you know, I already eat pretty good, even though I gained a shitload of weight, which I'm hoping now that I have my gallbladder out, I'm hoping it takes a turn, but I already eat pretty good, but I do eat shit a pretty good bit. I have trouble with sweets. And uh and I'll like go on spurts, I won't touch it. And then all of a sudden I'll just I'll I'll keep eating it like every day or whatever, you know. And until you look back and you really think about it, you don't realize how much bullshit you eat. So and I just like I want to get to where I'm really mindful of what I'm eating, eat better, and or not eat better, but eat like I normally do. That's like what I had today was I had some applesauce. Uh, what did I eat? I had some applesauce, a sweet potato, and um, and some ground chicken. That's what I ate today. So, uh. Yeah, but then there's days where like I'll eat that or whatever, and then I'll turn around and eat a couple cinnamon rolls or some shit like that. I want to cut that type of stuff out. So, but yeah, so but for some reason I gained weight out of nowhere, and I could that could have been because I started eating yogurt. Uh, so, but. I'm realizing, even since I've had my gallbladder taken out, I've tried to eat yogurt a couple times, and it gives me heartburn. So I don't know if it's a kind of yogurt or what, but I'm getting I get bad heartburn when I eat it. So I'm just not even gonna eat it no more, but or anymore. But yeah. So my goal is to eat better. You know, a lot of people they're gonna eat better. They want to get in better shape, which that's another thing. I want to try to figure out a way to get in better shape without my symptoms hit me because my gallbladder did relieve some of the symptoms but other symptoms I was kind of hoping it would relieve when I had it taken out they're still there now they could resolve in time but I really really think they're just my neurological stuff so because I really doubt even though your call bad gallbladder can cause seizures because it happened to a guy I went to school with um, even though we can do stuff like that. Like, I get a ball of light in this eye that'll just move. So I get a ball of light in this eye and then I'll get like what looks like a lightning strike in this eye. So, and then like something I've started having is sound. Sound will hit my ears and it'll send a shot of pain through my head. And that junk, you know, that I don't, I was hoping when I had that taken and when I had my gallbladder taken out, that would stop, but it hasn't. So, um, I guess that's my neurological stuff, or maybe others, or maybe something else that I haven't found out about yet, and the doctors damn 
sure ain't gonna find out because, well, we'll just say if it wasn't for me, I wouldn't know half of what the hell's wrong with me. Because the, those fuckers, they just, they write you off really fast. But I'm not gonna get into a thing with doctors because I can do that really easy. So, but yeah, I wanna eat better and stuff like that. Now, another thing is I wanna be more mindful of gratefulness. I wanna be more mindful of gratefulness. Not that I'm not grateful, but I want to be, I want to be more aware of it more often because the more aware I am, the more aware I am of my gratefulness, of, of what I'm grateful for and everything, the more peace of mind I can gain. So if that makes sense, because I think a lot of stuff, like, I think a lot of our problems is we don't have the peace of mind. We're looking for this happy, high, euphoric feeling. And it's just, you can't always get that. That's like, that's like a drug addict chasing a, chasing a high. So, you can't always, you're not always going to get that high. So, that, 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 that high euphoric, that euphoric happy feeling you know is not necessarily what I really want I want peace of mind I want my mind to be more at peace and if it's more at peace I will feel not necessarily that high euphoric feeling but I will feel better than what I do you know whenever I don't have that high euphoric happy feeling and I'm wanting it just like, and I think that's the same for every, for pretty much everybody. You know, if we worry more about, if we worry more about peace of mind, you know, and not even worry about it so much, because I think that's another thing. We worry about happiness. We worry about, you know, having peace of mind and this and that. And if you're worrying and you're stressing on something, especially peace of mind. Well, how are you going to have that? So, um, and there's just different aspects of, there's just different aspects to having peace of mind. But that's one of my things that I would like to have. So, is, is, is more mindfulness of what I'm, of, of the grateful feeling and, uh, peace of mind. So, um, the other thing is, my place, this is not no extravagant place or anything, it's a single wide, it's just, you know, it's a single wide mobile home, but I would like to fix it, finish fixing it, you know, because if things wouldn't have went the way they went, this place would be pretty damn nice right now. But instead, I have this place torn apart. I won't invite anybody over. My kids can't come and stay because my kids do live with their mom now. You know, they all decide to move up there just for... But they all decide to move up there. <laughs> so, uh... They can't come down here and stay like they want because of how bad I have this place torn apart on the other end because I started tearing everything apart all at once because I was going to fix it all at once pretty much and I'm talking about replacing windows and everything like my hallway is blocked off from the other end of the place because the other end of the place uh, has part of it has no floor so um but yeah I get back on my feet, which I should be back on my feet in a couple of weeks and everything. And I get myself straightened out. I'm getting, the, I'm fixing this. I'm going to finish this place. I don't want to have to hire some people to come in, but yeah, I'm going to finish this place. So, um, that's another thing I want to get done. And, um, hopefully I won't have to work like hell all the time because that was one of the things that kept me from doing it was I started working like hell all the time when I started it and then I didn't have no time to do it and then I started doing different things and everything and just kind of by the time I had the time to do it I didn't have the money so um but yeah I might do I might 
video of, of this place one day, but like I said, I'm embarrassed by it, so I probably won't. But, uh, okay, and get myself out of debt. So, I did get my credit score up to a 200, and I had to get into this uh, freedom debt relief. So, um, yeah. Guys, I wasn't, I was struggling to pay these stupid credit cards and everything on time. Or not on time, but by the time I was paying them, I was broke. So, I got into the freedom debt relief thing. And whenever I get myself out of debt, which will be this year or the next, I don't know. It depends on, because I want to invest while the market, while the crypto market is down still. It's not high, it's not as high as it is going to go, I don't think. Nowhere near, because we're nowhere near in a bull run. I want to get into it while we're still in a bear market. And the next bull run that it hits, 2025, I'm straight for the red, you know, I'm straight. So, we can get into that too on another video. But yeah, so I might not get out of debt this year because I might be investing while I can, while things are low. Because that's when you want to buy in, is when things are low. So you don't want to sit there and buy something high and then the market falls apart and then everything plummets and then you're stuck sitting there holding the bag because unfortunately in stocks, in everything, there's got to be buyers so you're not holding the bag. So somebody is going to get stuck holding the bag. That's why you buy low so you don't end up being the one that buys high and gets stuck holding that bag. So, I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm just saying, that's the way I do. And that's, or that's the way I've been doing, so. Um, then another thing is, stop the procrastination, because even though I grind like hell and all that, I will still procrastinate like hell. Like, you know, everybody procrastinates. I don't give a damn who you are. You're going to procrastinate at some point. But I have, like I said, I grind like hell, but I will procrastinate like hell too for, for whatever damn reason. And I got to stop that or at least cut that down. So, um, because while it's a hindering, it's hindering, you know, it's not hindering my life to where it could, but it has put a hindrance on my life with certain things. And I just, I need to quit it. So, and yeah, that's it, because I didn't keep writing down stuff. Oh, oh shit. I wish I quit yawning. Yawning and sneezing sucks. Yeah, y'all, I'm going to get off here, and this concludes the, the first video of 2024. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll see y'all next video. So, I have plenty of ideas for videos, plenty of rambles, all kinds of stuff. So, some of my rambles will be soft-spoken, some of them will be whispered. Like, the soft-spoken ones that I do... It, I, I'll do the soft spoken just for, for so if my kids ever decide hey I want to hear what my dad says so instead of them listening to me whisper it could still be ASMR for y'all but it could be just me being chill for them you know you feel me so uh, yeah so I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna make the thumbnail and everything I'm just gonna go ahead and release this video but I'm gonna try to get back on a regular schedule so uh, y'all take it easy